Good morning, committee chair and committee members. My name is Jan Hauser. I'm the wastewater division manager. I'm here today to present for your consideration a request to approve a purchase order to Selenus LLC for the supply and delivery of anionic polymer. Specifically, our recommendation is that the Public Works and Transportation Committee recommend that the City Council approve and authorize the Mayor to execute purchase order with Salinas LLC in the amount not to exceed $450,000 for a three-year term ending June 30th, 2024 for supply and delivery of anionic polymer to the Oxnard Wastewater Treatment Plant. So on September 17th, 2020, we advertised solicitation PW21-11 for the supply and delivery of anionic polymer. This was a competitive process that included a two-step performance, performance test, one a bench scale test in the laboratory, followed by a full scale test, test at the plant. The purpose of this is because every polymer is proprietary and unique to each manufacturer. So the testing was conducted at the wastewater treatment plant from September 29th, 2020 through October 15th, 2020. Three vendors participated in the first step or primary bench test. All testing was monitored by city staff. The bidders could test as many of their polymers as they liked and the polymer must remove at least 80% of total suspended solids to move on to the second or full scale test. So following the bench scale test, Selenus LLC or Selenus was the sole vendor to exceed the minimum TSS removal rate. So therefore they were invited to conduct the full scale performance test at the plant. The full-scale test with the Salinas polymer produced very positive results in the removal of both TSS and biochemical oxygen demand. They were then invited, they were therefore invited to submit a bid for their polymer, which they did on October 28, 2020. The 2017 Public Works and Integrated Master Plan recommended the removal of the two existing bio towers at the wastewater plant due to structural and operational concerns. The ultimate removal required at least two steps before possible removal. The first was the structural stabilization of the facilities themselves. The second was the construction of a chemical addition facility for the polymer. So the structural stabilization was completed as part of the emergency repair projects, and it was completed in July of 2019. As part of the same project, the chemical addition facility was completed in November of 2019. Here's a picture of one of the existing bio towers, which is in service today, and we hope to remove from service in the future. So the chemical addition facility is also known as the chemically enhanced primary treatment or SEPT facility. The SEPT facility mixes and injects the anionic polymer into the raw wastewater. The mixing happens upstream of the primary clarifiers. So the polymer acts as a flocculant and enhances settling in the clarifiers. So the improved settling reduces downstream treatment requirements at the plant, and it will allow for the ultimate removal of the bio towers. And it will also reduce the overall energy usage. Here's a photo of the completed SEPT facility. The polymer will go into the storage tank you see there in the picture. So the financial impact, this is a three-year purchase order with Salinas for a total not to exceed $450,000. So we've budgeted $75,000 in this fiscal year through operating fund, wastewater operating fund 621. 
The remaining balance will be spread over the following three fiscal years in equal amounts of $125,000 for a total of $450,000. This completes my presentation. I'd be happy to take any questions.